you ready to dive into one of the most in-demand fields in the world today, but you don't know where to start? Maybe you have heard about cybersecurity and how it's essential in protecting our tech-driven world as it is today, but the idea of learning it from scratch is just too overwhelming. Well, guess what? It's not as complicated as it seems, and you don't need any prior experience to start. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly how you can kickstart your career in cybersecurity, even if you're a complete beginner. I'll show you some actionable steps that you can take right now that can allow you to start mastering the skills that are critical in today's digital age. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to give you the exact pathway that I took to get into cybersecurity. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to kickstart your career in cybersecurity. Hi, I'm AJ, and I've been in cybersecurity for the last eight years and on this channel we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners so let's get into it in this video i'm going to teach you eight steps to learn cybersecurity for beginners so i'm going to teach you what cybersecurity is how to get in the right mindset for cybersecurity how to build those foundational skills how to pick a specific job and the focus will be here on a cybersecurity analyst how to get hands-on practical skills how to create a portfolio for future employers to see continued education and how to be part of a community and get involved in networking so you can get your first job in cybersecurity. So let's get into it. So first of all, then what is cybersecurity? Well, ultimately, cybersecurity is the act or the process of securing networks, devices, applications from these would be hackers. And obviously, in today's digital age, everything is an application, everything is a laptop, everything is a server. And those servers, those laptops, those networks have so much personal information that hackers want to get access to, usually for financial gain. So the idea as a cybersecurity professional and a future one like yourself is to protect those networks. So now that you understand what it is, what I want you to do as a beginner, I want you to get involved in the cybersecurity community. And to be able to do that, you want to be going on X, uh, aka Twitter, start following some cybersecurity researchers. You want to go onto websites like Bleeping Computer, just start looking through the articles. It'll start posting about daily news that goes on in the cybersecurity world and of course listening to podcasts so podcasts like darknet diaries hacking humans black hills information security and of course our podcast cyberspace by empirical training what this is going to help you do is get a deeper understanding of what cybersecurity is all about now that you have a better understanding of cybersecurity and you know some resources to go and further enhance that knowledge what you want to go and do then is actually get into the right mindset so Cybersecurity requires you to be curious and persistent at all times. There's always something new coming out. There's always some new vulnerability, always some new technology. It's vital as a future cybersecurity professional like yourself that you get in that kind of mindset. Listening to these podcasts, doing your own research is what's going to help you do that. The skills that you learn in cybersecurity take patience. They take time to learn and you have to regularly practice to make sure that you get them right. So you must be somebody who can be patient because getting into cybersecurity is not an overnight thing. So please be prepared to do the work. So once you understand what cybersecurity is, you know that you're in the right mindset. What you can start doing then is building foundational skills. So some excellent certifications for that are CompTIA and they're well-renowned certifications. So the A+, if you know nothing about IT, then likely you're going to want to start with the A+. If you know nothing about networking, then you're going to want to start and look into CompTIA Network Plus. And then if you know nothing about cybersecurity, then you're going to want to build your foundational skills with Security Plus. But if you do know stuff about IT, you can probably skip A+. Plus. If you do know stuff about networking, you can probably skip that as well. But if you don't know anything about either of these, then likely you're going to want to go through the training. And if you want free training, I know a lot of you like free resources. Check out Professor Messer on YouTube. Do Professor Messer CompTIA and then check out his training videos. Not everybody needs to go down this path. You need to assess where you currently are. If you don't need to do A+, then you can skip it. Like I said, Network+, Plus, skip it. You need to look where you are, understand what skills you have before picking the certification that you want to go down. Don't go paying for any of these straight away. Start with Professor Messer look into it, see if you enjoy it. That's going to help you get in the right mindset and then decide if you actually want to spend any money on it. It's important to have these foundations before you try and learn the more advanced skills as it comes to cybersecurity. So A plus is going to teach you all about the basics of IT. Networking teaches you how computers actually talk to each other, which we need to know to be able to secure these networks. And then Security Plus is going to give you a foundation and the start of your building blocks in cybersecurity. Then once you've built your foundations, I want you to do is pick a specific job. For me, I started as a cybersecurity analyst and so did for friends of mine who run empirical training. 
And we've been in the industry for 30 plus years combined, but we all started as cybersecurity analysts. It's seen as the more entry level way to get into the industry and is usually better for beginners. And there's a lot of job opportunities out there for cybersecurity analysts as well. By all means, it's not an entry level position. You still need all of the fundamentals, but this looks to be the best way currently to get into the cybersecurity industry as a beginner. The reason for picking a specific job is that it narrows your training so you're not trying to learn everything because you're just going to get overwhelmed. So as a cybersecurity analyst, you need to learn things such as SIEM, so Security Incident Event Management Tool, um, and you need to learn how to set one of these up. I'll tag a video at the end which tells you exactly what it is and how to set one up at home. You need to understand instant response. So a great thing for this is the SANS instant response plan. When an alert is generated from the SIEM and it's a true positive cyber attack, you're likely going to know, need to go down the SANS incident response plan to resolve that and recover from that incident and help protect that company. You need to understand some cloud attack and defense. So some great stuff for this is the MITRE attack framework for cloud. It's going to teach you the different phases that an attacker will go down, the techniques that they will take to try and advance through a customer's cloud network. And it's also going to teach you how to defend against it as well. Customer service, this is something people always forget about. Cybersecurity analysts are often speaking with customers on a daily basis. You want to have excellent customer service, be able to talk about complex topics in a simplified way to make sure they feel reassured and that their company feels safe. You want to understand different attack types and defense techniques. So again, this comes back to the MITRE attack framework where they've got an enterprise um, matrix and that's going to teach you exactly what the steps an attacker will take how to actually defend against those attacks, and then how to actually mitigate those attacks as well. Now, if you're not sure what the MITRE attack framework looks like, this is it here. It tells you each step of what an attacker will take, shows you the technique, tells you all about the technique, gives you some real world examples which you want to read through, how to mitigate and how to detect. So you want to get really familiar with each one of these stages. And they also have an enterprise one as well uh, for you to be able to read through too. And another great framework is the Cyber Kill Chain by Lockheed Martin. It's going to detail the steps that an attacker will take. You want to understand how attackers think, how they look to actually compromise companies so you can then think about ways to stop them at each stage of their attack. Then you want to learn the basics of threat hunting and threat intelligence. So you want to be looking into the basics of these. You don't need to be an expert, but you just want to get a basic understanding of how this works. But ultimately, threat hunting is just looking for new attacker behaviors and searching for those behaviors across a company network to be able to detect malicious activity. And the way that you find out the latest attacker behaviors to be able to do threat hunting is with threat intelligence by reading through open source intelligence information to find out what the latest attack techniques are. Again, these two can go into a lot more depth here in these topics, but you just want a beginner understanding when you're starting out. And then you want to understand the different analyst tools that are out there. So SIEM being the major one, but you've got your network intrusion detection systems, things like Suricata, endpoint detection systems, basically any security appliance or networking appliance that is on a network that can aid a cybersecurity analyst in detecting cyber attacks. So once you start to understand the theory behind becoming a cybersecurity analyst, you want to get your hands on practical skills as a cybersecurity analyst. And like I said, one of the major tools that all cybersecurity analysts are using is a SIEM. So you want to get hands on experience with one of those. The major ones are Microsoft Sentinel, Elastic and Splunk. Elastic, I've got a video which I'll link at the end which shows you exactly how to set up Elastic Seam at home and detect malicious activity. And that video is going to give you hands-on practical experience that you can write on your resume or your CV to say that you understand what a Seam is, how to set one up and how to detect malicious activity. There are many more projects that you can do to cover off each one of these areas. What you want to do is get practical projects that cover off each one of these areas to give you a theory-based understanding and a practical skills hands-on understanding as well. And then as you go through all of this, you want to create your own portfolio. So it could just be a Google Doc, maybe a blog. Just write down everything that you're doing. Keep notes, take some screenshots so that when it comes to actually speaking to employers, you can show them exactly what it is you've been doing in your spare time. And then you can actually prove that you know it and you've got the practical skills behind it as well. So this is an excellent way to prove that you've got experience when you haven't been in a cybersecurity job before, because we know all jobs are always asking for experience. Well, this is a great way to demonstrate it. And then once you get in as a cybersecurity analyst, you still need to do your continued education. So continue going through things like X, continue listening to your podcast, 
continue reading through resources like Leaping Computer because, like I said, always have to stay up to date in cybersecurity and that doesn't change as soon as you become an analyst. But one of the great things, once you become an analyst and you start, that's when you can look to specialize into other areas. So let's say you wanted to go into cloud computing or be a cloud security engineer. Maybe you wanted to go into ethical hacking. Maybe you wanted to go more into GRC, information security management. Or maybe you want to go down the area where I went, which was into instant response. Being a cybersecurity analyst allows you to soak up so much because you get exposed to so much. And then that allows you to then specialize further, which is going to increase your salary and increase your skills. Continued education in cybersecurity is extremely important. And that's why it comes back to having the right mindset that you want to be a continuous learner. So the last but one point that we wanted to cover is community and networking, which is what people always bang on about when it comes to getting into cybersecurity. But where can you go to join a community and network with current cybersecurity professionals who have been in the industry for 30 plus years? Well, I've got the answer for you. We've actually got a free community on school. And as you can come here, there's 3,600 other members looking to get into cybersecurity just like you. Come and ask us questions, uh, but we've also got classroom content. So we've got classrooms which help you build your own pathway into cybersecurity. You can get 15% off any Comte exam voucher or any Comte course bundle just for joining the community. And you can come in and we get uh, weekly uh, live Q&A sessions where you can come and talk to us as well. So everything you need in here to be part of a community and to start networking towards your first job. And if you do want to join that, the link is in the description. And now finally, this is the pathway that I took to get into cybersecurity and I think the pathway that everybody should take to get in. So you need to start off with your networking fundamentals. CompTIA A+, and Network+, Plus are great certifications for this, but by all means, you might not need to do these. It all depends where you are. If you're already working in IT, likely you can skip this and you can jump to your cybersecurity fundamentals, but you need to assess your IT knowledge, your networking knowledge to understand where you are on this pathway. And then once you've got those fundamentals down, you can look into your cybersecurity fundamentals. So CompTIA Security+, Plus, but not just Security+, Plus, the Security+, Plus labs to get out the hands-on practical skills in those fundamental skills as well is a great way to go and once you've got these down so there might be some of you even though you're working in IT you might be already be doing some of the cybersecurity fundamentals but you just don't know it yet and they're the kind of things that you want to be able to unlock because a lot of you um, if you're currently working in IT you're probably already here if you're not then you might need to start from the start but that's no problem at all either then you want to be learning the skills of a cybersecurity analyst so all the skills that we mentioned already then you want to get the practical home projects related to each one of these skills. Then you can start setting up your resume and just being consistent and persistent to applying for jobs. Then once you get your first job as a cybersecurity analyst, you can then look to specialize further in other areas such as ethical hacking, rep teaming, uh, instant response, or even forensics. So to conclude, you have a better understanding of what cybersecurity is to protect company networks from hackers. You now have the right mindset, so always be curious, always be persistent. You know exactly how to build your foundational skills. You know how to become a cybersecurity analyst, which is the best job for beginners. You know how to get hands-on practical experience as a cybersecurity analyst. You understand the importance of an evidence portfolio to track everything everything that you've learned and you especially understand the importance of continued education and continuous learning in cybersecurity and you also know the best community to be part of to start your networking towards your first job and you've been given a direct pathway into cybersecurity i mean what more could you want i've literally given you everything actually there is one more thing i want you to go and watch this video next which is the one project you need to do if you want to become a cybersecurity analyst thank you for watching and i'll see you over there